Hi, this is Anthony. In this video of Battery Experts with Anton Parr, we will cover mechanical properties of films used during battery cell production. At various stages of lithium-ion battery production, separators and current collectors undergo significant tension and torsion forces that can potentially stretch or tear the materials. A dynamic mechanical analyzer, or DMA for short, can be used to measure the structural properties of these materials and indicate the forces that they can withstand before breaking or tearing. The test methods that can be performed with a DMA are tension, torsion, compression, shear, three-point bending, and cantilever. The typical methods used for DMA measurements are amplitude sweep to determine the linear viscoelastic region by increasing the oscillation amplitude, frequency sweep to investigate the material's behavior at increasing oscillation frequency, humidity sweep to study the material's behavior at different humidity levels, time sweep, which is a method to investigate a material's behavior at constant conditions over time, and finally, temperature ramp to determine phase transition at increasing temperatures. Additionally, DMA instruments are used for tensile tests and thermomechanical analysis to determine the thermal expansion of a sample. For this study, we will perform a temperature ramp in tension on a separator material and a tensile test on a current collector material. For the DMA in tension of the separator film, we will place the sample in a sample holder, which in this case is a solid rectangular fixture. Prior to the temperature ramp, an amplitude sweep has to be performed to determine the linear viscoelastic range of the material. This is necessary to generate valid measurement data. This can be done by going into the software and opening the template under the section Amplitude Sweep called Linear Viscoelastic Range. Enter the sample dimensions and conduct the measurement. When the amplitude sweep is finished, you can determine the amplitude for the subsequent temperature ramp, which has to be within the linear viscoelastic range. For the temperature ramp, the additional settings are usually a heating rate of 2 degrees centigrade per minute and a frequency of 1 hertz. In this case, the temperature ramp was performed from room temperature to 250 degrees C. When looking at the results of the temperature ramp, you can determine the glass transition temperature as well as the storage modulus over the temperature range, which can be related to the Young's modulus. For the tensile testing of polymer separator material, the same measuring system is used, which is a solid rectangular fixture. In this case, the strain will continue increasing and what will be generated is a stress versus strain diagram when testing at a constant temperature. The graph will show three distinct areas. First, elastic deformation, which is the linear region of the diagram. Second, plastic deformation, which is indicating that the material is starting to deform and the linearity is lost. And third, necking, which comes after the ultimate stress is reached and is evidenced by a decrease in the force needed to pull the sample. So, in summary, we saw how the proper assessment of the mechanical properties of films used in battery cell production with a dynamic mechanical analyzer can be useful and even essential to properly optimize specific steps during manufacturing.